Personal Injury Court. Good day, everyone. This is the matter of Clinton versus Florence. Uh, Mrs. Clinton, Mr. and Mrs. Florence, I've read the materials that you've submitted to this court. It's my understanding, Ms. Clinton, that you are suing the Florences for injuries that you sustained while at a birthday party for kids on the Florence's property, and you're suing them for $10,000 in medical expenses, $7,500 for lost wages, and $82,500 for pain and suffering for a total of $100,000. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. And Mr. and Mrs. Florence, you all believe that she was a mama bear. She was a, a bit of a pushy parent, and she's kind of responsible for her own injuries, right? Yes, she is Your responsible. Honor. All right, now let's get into the legal sauce. What, what led up to you going to this birthday party? Yes, my, my son um, and th the Florence's son go to school together. And I don't know them very well just from when we used to be on PTA together. But you had met them before this time? Yes, a few times, Your Honor. Okay. So they invited us to a birthday party for their son. And um, we were under the impression it was going to be a lot of kids their age. They were going to have um, farm animals there that the kids could interact with. Um, you know, all the parents were excited. All the kids were excited. My son kept begging me to be able to go. Had you ever taken your son to a, a petting zoo or anywhere where there were animals before this day? Yes, Your Honor, I had. So you knew what to expect? Correct. Okay. Correct. Mm -hmm. um, and we arrived, and, and um, things did not turn out the way they should have. So, Mr. and Mrs. Florence, this happened at your home. Mm -hmm. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, you all were planning for this birthday party, planning to have some animals, right? What, what went into the planning? Uh, well, Your Honor, we own a llama farm, so okay. uh, my son wanted to show off the llamas to all his friends. So it's fair to say that y'all know llamas, yes, right? Your Honor. Yes, I mean, Your it's Honor. kind of a, an odd thing to know, but y'all know llamas because you raise llamas. We do, yes, Your Honor. We've okay. been raising llamas for 10 years, Your Honor. Yes. What, what makes a llama special? Well, first off, they're very docile creatures. They're, they're fantastic. <laughs> we, we have a good time with them, and, and they're cute. You know, yeah, they, they look like sweet animals, yeah, but, sweet animals. you know, Winnie the Pooh looks sweet. <laughs> See, there's... There's our yeah. llama right there. Yes. We take them to events. We take uh, Mabel and DeAndre to, to events, and we've never had an issue. We've yeah. never had an issue. So, they're, so they're you said children. Mabel. The llama's name is Mabel? Yes. You all name the llamas? We do. Yes. They're okay. part of the family. Your so Honor. having a llama at a birthday party, had y'all done this before? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, did anything happen before? No, Your Honor. Miss Clinton, tell me how you get to the party, now what happened? How did you get hurt? Okay, uh, sure. So, uh, Your Honor, we were at the party. Kids were running around having a good time. Okay. Uh, the llamas were, uh, were roaming around in a pasture, meadow, if you will. There were no pins of any kind that were containing. There were no ropes anywhere. There were nothing to hold the llama in place. Were you concerned at this point for your safety well, and your son's safety? Your Honor, not, these are not, not lions. Not They're llamas. necessarily. Uh, yes, sir, I understand. <laughs> so, we really didn't think we would have a reason to be concerned. It was only when um, we were told by the Florences that, uh, you know, the kids could get closer to take pictures and possibly... And that was people. one thing you wanted to do. Correct. People want to create these memories. Yes. I, I uh, took my son to a petting zoo and, uh, <laughs> right. you know, when you think about it, yes. Your Honor, it's, exactly. a, it's a happy thing, but yes, when sir. you get close to it, it can be a little scary. That is correct. So tell me what happened with Mabel. So as I was saying, we were able to get closer per the permission of the Florences. They okay. told everyone we could get closer to take pictures. <laughs> as a group, a lot of the kids ran up. The parents were with them to take pictures. There were several parents and people that were taking pictures from afar. How close to Mabel are you at this point? Um, I would say maybe two feet, three feet tops. Two so inches, Your Honor? That's, yeah. that's pretty close. Uh, it, no. <laughs> were, were you comfortable at two feet away? Yes, as I said, I've never had an issue with the llama before, especially in a petting zoo. So what uh, happened? Uh, so we're standing there in front of the llama, uh, ready to take pictures. We were told that it was a gentle animal. Okay. Uh, so we took that word, and we start to take pictures, and I notice that the llama starts getting fidgety and um, wiggling around, moving a little was bit more. Was there flash or anything that made her uh, wiggle? Not at that point. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so the kids... I a mean, wiggling llama. <laughs> well, Your okay. Honor, what she hasn't told you about this is that she went straight up to Mabel yep. and to get a picture with her son, she started snapping in Mabel's face and, and whistling. Okay, now, te now your tell your me about that. So, so, that is not Hold on, hold on. act like hold you're on. around an animal, That's you're going to get what you deserve. That's important. Okay. Did you snap when uh, you're getting, trying no, to get Mabel's attention? No, Your Honor, I was not snapping. No, I did. She did, Your Honor. I did try to get attention of the llama so that it wasn't looking away from the camera. Snapping her um, fingers. So, so yeah. you're up close to Mabel. Right. You're I'm trying to get a photograph. From, uh, I'm trying to get a photograph. How do you get hurt near a wiggling llama? <laughs> well, Your Honor, I'll tell you how she got hurt. Well, I asked her 
Sir, let me, I'll hear from you. Uh, so, Your Honor, um, as I could tell that the llama was getting agitated, I pushed my son out of the way. And I, as I tried to flee from it as well, it actually reared up and it spit on me. And I tried to flee. And you when it reared it. up, I slipped I'd spit and at you fell too. and hurt my back. No one deserves to be hurt like this. No one deserves to be hurt, if you period. Followed especially you at a kid's been hurt. birthday party. That's right. If my you son was traumatized. All because these other of what kids could follow instructions and no one else got hurt. I'm in so much pain. Yeah, and sure. so is my son from seeing this. I can't even hold my son like I used to. I can't do can't anything that a mom should be able to do because Folks, of what I need your order. did. Yes, sure. I need order in this court. Tell me about your injury specifically. What happened to you? Uh, sure. So between my C1 and C2, I herniated my disc in my okay. back. And um, it causes a lot of swelling and aches and pains and muscle spasms mm. in my back. Basically, if you don't mind, I can show you. Yes, ma'am. It causes radiating pains. This is painful. Uh, and they radiate all the Does the, the brace down. help? It does, but it's only temporary. Tell me about the impact of this on your job. So I've actually missed uh, 62 days of work. Ms. Clinton, you're asking for $82,500 for pain and suffering. Yes. That's a lot of pain and suffering. Okay. Tell me about that experience. It hurts everything. It's not just my back. It, the back is connected to everything. Mabel should be suing so, her. Yes, so, <laughs> Mr. Florence, you really mean that? Mabel is the victim of this case. We're the victims. Yeah. Please we, tell me how Mabel oh, is okay. the victim. Well, first off, Your Honor, <laughs> before we gave specific instructions, we did. I got about when we go see the llama, do not come close, no loud noises, no fast, jerky movements. Oh, and and mm, did y'all know later. that this kind of stuff agitates Mabel? Yes. yes. Well, that's absolutely. how mamas are, Your Honor. You, you, <laughs> you treat them with respect and you walk slowly toward them. Here, here's the problem, Your Honor. Even though they're stating that they, they gave clear instructions, no, they did not. They said, don't come near the llama. You know, don't. And then she bums the rush the llama, I, Your Honor. She, I she, don't even know what that means. Mr. Florence, tell me this. Distance is obviously important, yeah, right. right? Exactly. What, 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 hold on. What made you think that she was too close? Well, well, we saw her picture on social media. Look how close Look, that, oh, that is. Hold on. That is, not, that is, that is not even two feet, feet away. Sorry, Your Honor. Please, order in this court. Yes, sir. I got to hear from both of you to get to the truth. Tell me a little bit about Mabel. Well, Give her some flavor so we, I, I can get close to her. Well, Your Honor, when she was born, she, we didn't think she was going to make it. The vet said she probably wasn't going to make it. And um, so Mabel is is our, our miracle llama. Mm -hmm. You know, we we had to hand feed her and, and sure. we raised her. And there's times where... She sounds like she's kind of your baby. Oh, she, she is. is. <laughs> okay. Llamas are a little bit like dogs, Your Honor. So they're very <laughs> um, personal. They have their own personality. That's a big dog. How, how big are these llamas when they're full grown? How big are they? They can get pretty big. As big as a, as a full grown man. Okay, that's that's pretty big dog <laughs> if you compare them to dog. Your Honor, may, may I interject? Yes, ma'am, please. Uh, looks are very deceiving when it comes to that llama because it looks sweet on the film. Yes, ma'am. Uh, and there's a couple of things. Um, there's pins that are shown on the on the, the film right there. Yes, ma'am. They were not there during the party. We were told that there was going to be like a petting zoo. There were going to be animals that were available to be uh, taken pictures with, come close to. So uh, you expected correct. that your son correct. and you would have the joy of petting well, Mabel. Correct. Okay. And, and also that it's common sense when you have young children around wild animals um, that you have no, safety yeah. signs or safety precautions somewhere around. That is not a sweet animal. We went expecting to be able to go up, take pictures, maybe even pet the llamas. You know, that's what the invitation, you know, that's what all the kids were talking about. My son was excited to do that. Well, it just says llamas. I don't know where she got the idea that we were running a petting zoo, that we were just going to have animals around yeah, to but touch. But you, you all expected that people would want to touch Mabel, right? They what? Right. I mean, she right. is beautiful, right? Yes, she is. It's my understanding that y'all brought Mabel. We yes, did. Sir. Yes, Your Honor. Now, if she spits on me, we got a problem. You know that. I don't think we need to worry about now, it. Now, you all brought your, your cousin, I guess, is the llama handler? Yes, yes sir. So, Sheriff Matt... I need you to go get Mabel yes, and sir. bring Mr. Florence in. God. Okay. We're going to meet Mabel. I know Mabel, and I'm scared to death of Mabel. This should be the other way around. I think she's Here's probably fr frightened of you. Oh, y'all going to make me get a llama. <laughs> Does this look like a, a, a creature that's going to harm anybody, Your Honor? Look. She's beautiful. This well, thank, is, thank you, Your Honor. She is beautiful. Thank you, Your Honor. We think so, too. Miss Clinton, I must tell you that Mabel doesn't look like a raging beast. I mean, this isn't a but hyena she, in a harness. But she also has someone holding her reins and, and 
keeping next to her when that was not the case at the party. Mr. Florence, uh, tell me about Mabel. Uh, she is a five-year-old llama. She's raised around the farm and used to being around people. How is it that you know when Mabel is getting agitated or irritated? Uh, you can tell a lot by body language, mostly with these guys. They don't make much noise, but you can tell a lot by the, her ears are up, so she's pretty relaxed, uh, watching their tail. Pacing is a big issue. So her ears go down when she gets agitated? Yeah, when she's, uh, if it's I don't. opposite to a dog. Right, like when, when I'm not giving her her treats or when she's kind of nervous about She's looking at me too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah. Miss Clinton, you look like you are scared of Mabel right now. I am, I'm she terrified. She's such a fake. I'm terrified, because I, you know, I noticed that he's standing closer to the llama than I was, but it attacked me and I Well, he's a llama anything. handler though. Yes. He, he knows he's llama, llama's quiet. his middle name. <laughs> Mr. Florence, is it okay? Is it okay that I come over and touch Mabel? Absolutely, yes. Just so you, uh, just so you move slowly and don't make a lot of noise. You're I'm fine. not usually accused don't of moving make fast. A lot of noise. All right. <laughs> now, Matt, Ooh, you know what to do if Mabel jumps out of line. Don't run. <laughs> don't run, Your Honor. Let me put this this uh, Barry White on her. Hey, Mabel. <laughs> <laughs> Now, where would I touch her? Uh, their necks. They're kind of head shy. Uh, it's kind of far coming towards her face. Okay. Yeah, her neck. Is... She reminds me of somebody I met once. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful. You're, you're She's honest, beautiful. You don't sweet know. girl, Be careful. Thank you, sir. A sweet oh, girl. Gosh. Yeah, a sweet girl. Seems pretty docile to me, Miss Clinton. Well. <laughs> Your Honor, if you want to do what she did towards Mabel, yeah, Mabel's gonna do the same thing to you, probably. Tell, tell me about the, what, what's that all about? She was trying to get a picture and she put her son right next mm -hmm. to the llama. Okay. And then she started to snap at Mabel to get her to and look whistle. at her and whistle. Okay. So she's right next to Mabel's face mm -hmm. and now, she's Mr. snapping Florence, like when, this. When people do that to a llama such as Mabel, what's likely to happen? If it's too startling, anything that's going to startle them is going to, is going to cause them to try to retreat, to pull back. Mm -hmm. So she's, uh, I mean, obviously I'm giving her treats. If I stop feeding her, I mean, obviously do we she's need never, to get out she's of never here? been in a courtroom either. So uh, I did wave my hand to get the llama's attention for the picture, yeah. but I did not snap so, to make noise. So you waved your hand. I heard them heed that warning. You waved your hand, but you didn't snap. Any kind of noises that they're suggesting that I made was was mimicking the noises that I heard them making towards the animal. I did no. it. So to you try made their noise. Noises to Mabel. I tried, no. yes. Do it to well, me. I'm Mabel. No. <laughs> I tried. No. I like tried. this? No, no, Your Honor. I did not snap my fingers. Okay. Uh, Mr. Florence, <laughs> you and uh, beautiful Mabel may leave. Oh. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Bye, Mabel. Your Honor, as you see, Mabel is used to people. She only responds aggressively when someone acts aggressively towards her. Absolutely. And we have never had that issue before. It has never happened. Y'all basically <laughs> say, Zero responsibility Absolutely. for you. Absolutely. Yes, Your Honor. All her I fault. think it's totally on her. Mr. Florence, you, you've said a certain feeling about this oh, yeah, that, that's, that doesn't involve a soft heart. It, well, I mean, first you, off, you, you see she's us. hurt, right? And, and, it, and it certainly is we, no we fun are, to be spat are upon. We truly sorry that she is hurt. Oh, yes, ma'am. But we yeah, feel but like it's doing. so unjust to us when we were trying to include nice. her son. Yes. She has a reputation. She has a reputation mm -hmm. as an aggressive mother. Well, she got kicked off the PTA at school. I think school. she was drunk. Kicked, she came in Kicked drunk, off oh, the no. PTA. I, don't even drink. I mean, Miss <laughs> Clinton, that's a big, it's kind of like flunking kindergarten or something. <laughs> How you get kicked out of the PTA? Well, ever since I did meet Mrs. Florence, yes, I found out, you know, and feel like she's always had a vendetta against me. Do you it's think very... she got you kicked out of the PTA? Yes. And the reason I say that the is because... The plot thickens. <laughs> <laughs> this started out as llama drama, <laughs> now this is mama drama. If, your and, Honor. and Your Honor, it should I have never I didn't know I had this up. drama, Your Honor. This is a new one for me. I think I've heard enough. I'm ready to render my decision. In every personal injury case, you really have three things you have to prove. Mrs. Clinton, you have to prove that the Florences were wrong and that their wrong caused your injuries. Here, though, Mrs. Clinton, you moved. You pulled your boy out the way. You tried to get a photo. There, that's taking some risk when you don't know this animal. You are, on the other hand, close to the animal, taking pictures, loud noises, Swift movements, those things set Mabel off, and you should have done a better job to notify parents, because frankly, we're dealing with kids. A kid could have gotten Thank hurt. You. But this case represents a shared fault. That is, the law recognizes that fault can be compared. It's called comparative negligence. Here, I find that you were responsible, but you weren't half responsible. You decided to run. 
Some would call that an overreaction. You all are certainly at fault because this llama was within your control. You could have given better instructions. I find that you are 49% responsible. And instead of awarding you $100,000 as you seek, I'm going to award you 51% of that, and that is $51,000 against the Florences. That is my final decision, and this matter is adjourned. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Our attorneys across America just viewed this case for the first time. Let's hear what Richard Harris has to say. The law requires you to be responsible for looking after your own safety. The plaintiff put herself in harm's way despite the defendant's warning about getting too close to the llama. As a general rule, around any animal, keep a safe distance. The plaintiff ultimately won because the llama is a wild animal and the defendants have more of a responsibility to protect the plaintiff.